It is coming. It is, it is coming. <laughs> Hey everyone, after about two minutes of uh, sponsorship, we are starting Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. This is probably completely left field for most of my viewers, but this is a personal favorite game of mine from my childhood, and I figured why not? It's near the holidays. I got this during the holiday season. I'll share it with y'all. Game looks hella dated, but it's still pretty fun. Anyway, let's just get started. Stealing Woody! What? Stealing. He can't what? take Woody! It's illegal! Where's he going? Somebody do something! <laughs> Run! Get him, Buzz! Okay, so with the beginning of each level will the first two levels of a set, a boss, not a boss, a darn it, uh, one second, there we go, I had to switch it to analog mode anyway, with each level you'll see a little clip from the movie that is in every version but the N64, I believe the reason for that was because of the limitations that the N64 had with cartridges, so they didn't fit them on there. And the Game Boy Color version is completely different. I think it's a... Oh... I want to say a side-scroller? I never played it before, so I honestly wouldn't... Nope. Dang it! Uh... Well, I, I doubt it'd be on the... They would have any kind of <laughs> cutscenes on the game because anyway, but the, uh, why did I do that? With the trying to concentrate, but the camera's a little disorienting. That's one problem I have. The camera's just kind of spazzes out all over the place now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Anyway, ugh, camera. Okay, this game is pretty straightforward for a licensed game. I didn't mean to do that! Stop, Rex! God. Uh, in each level, there are things you can do such as help out characters from the movie, such as Bo Peep, who is in this level, get 50 coins for Ham. Rex, he'll just tell you where these missions are and all that. Uh, there's a few other missions in this level as well. Whenever you complete a mission, you will acquire a Pizza Planet token, and you'll need to collect those in order to access other levels. And also, in each level, there is a type of mini boss, I, should, I guess you could call them. And most of them are pretty easy. Nothing too. Oh, I forgot. Nothing too dangerous, I would say. I'm trying to think. Er, no, I don't think there's any real dangerous boss. But you have access to two attacks, laser and your spin attack. The laser can be charged as well as the spin attack. The thing about the spin attack though is you will get dizzy after you do a full charge because this is just a spin without charging it and a spin while charging it. Bam. <laughs> and you can move around while the spin is still going, but you get dizzy. So I wouldn't use that in the middle of a boss, I would say when you know you're about to finish it off, then go ahead and use it. But yeah, that was our first pizza token. We can exit the level, but I want to get the other four. Now you can't always get all five in one go. Sometimes you have to come back with a specific, dang it, upgrade, dang it, and 
get the rest of them there. There are a total of, oh, let me see. Uh, let's see, there's five levels. I think, uh, my memory's kind of fuzzy right now. <laughs> I think there's at least 50. Well, actually, you need, no time to you need 50 in order to beat the game, but you don't need... Or maybe there is 50. I can't remember off the top of my head. It'll come back to me. It's been a while since I played this game as much as I love it. It's been about, I would say, two years since I last played it because that time it was actually a race with a couple of friends of mine. I was gonna upload that, but the footage for on one of my friends in it was, it wasn't corrupted actually. It was just that Twitch didn't save the file. Dang it! There we go. I forgot I can double jump after spinning from a pole, which I should probably get now. Nah, I'll just I come in peace. There we go. So, hmm. Boop. What is this? Oh yeah, this is one of Bo Peep's sheep. That is her mission. You just had to collect five of them and then bring them to her. She'll give you a token. Okay, it was just a coin. Luckily, coins aren't hard to get in this stage. Later stages, it's going to be uh, uh, a nightmare to get these coins. Especially the last two levels. I'm not looking forward to those last two. Oh boy. But, mm, let me see, going down the stairs, going down the stairs, don't want to go to the left. Yeah, I'll go to the left. Yeah. Now, I may have mentioned this before, but eh, bad memory. Uh, Ham's mission is to just bring in 50 coins, you'll get a piece of token. For the most part, that's yes, usually considered the easiest of the missions. It's just, like I said in the last two, it's going to be a little difficult because coins are a lot more spread out as well as the enemies and whenever you defeat an enemy you do get a coin but they do respawn and if you defeat an enemy that's respawn it won't drop a coin so just keep that in mind Ooh, but sauce jump up with that Shit. get that coin i'll probably get 50 coins before i even run to run into them actually okay this will bring the shovel down Yes, so if I fall off at any point trying to maneuver around this garage, then I can just go back to that shovel. <laughs> okay, so if for some reason you're having a hard time with the boss, you can always try to find these green laser power-ups. And you can see that meter. You do have limited uses. You can't charge it, but you can fire it rapidly, like almost like a <laughs> almost like a machine gun. And it does more damage than your regular laser. I think it does more damage than your charge laser as well. I don't know. <clears throat> but... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I didn't mean to hold it like that, but alone. But... It is something you can use to get past armies like that. That enemy usually takes about three or four shots with the green laser just took one. Let me see something. There we go. Two. Did I kill you? Dang it. Dang it. No, oh, no, I didn't. Three. Yeah, I only need seven more coins. Good, 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 good. Alright, RC's missions. You just have to race them. That's all. This one's stupidly easy. I'm probably going to accidentally show off a trick. Let's see. Yeah, that. Just run into him and he'll stop for a brief moment and have to rev up again. That's something you can use to get a good lead on him but it's really unnecessary for this race and the next race it's it's an option but it's really the way you would that's the way you would do it if you want to I guess uh, sequence break because the I'll get more than that when I get to that step level get on way And boom. Convenience. Alright, let's just keep on playing. 
Now let's head to the living room. I find it odd that the first level takes place in the living room after the cutscene that play, just gonna put that out. Um, I, I don't know because the next level we come to after this, it does it takes place in outside actually. I'm surprised it didn't flip it or something, I don't know. This is a good introductory level. But it's just kind of odd. And what I picked up was Mr. Potato Head's ear. Oh, I thought I was going to get knocked off. <laughs> He's having mighty close. In the first level of each set, Mr. Potato Head will need a part. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me go ham. <laughs> go ham. But yeah, that's all you got to do with ham. Now, when you find one of Mr. Potato Head's pieces, you just need to find him and then take it. Then he'll unlock the power up that. You know, they're Buzz Lightyear's power up, so I'm not sure why he's keeping them from you, knowing they're yours, like whatever. But I don't feel like putting the lock on. Ah, fine. Jerk. Yeah, he's located in the first level of each set. Ow. So just go out of your way to find him, bring him the piece, and look at this. Yeah. This is definitely mine, but uh, I gotta bring him his ear. So Mr. Potato Head won't be in the next level because this that's the second level of the set. <sighs> what I mean by sets is, is always two levels first and then the third level is a boss battle. It's purely a boss battle. Yeah. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm, let Let's see. I could actually. Hmm. Now let me just go over here. And. Uh, Then I think I can. I believe I can lock on, but it's not really necessary. I want to say I can sequence break this. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna make that. Nah, there's no way. Okay, so what you gotta do is just. Ooh, excuse me. But you can just all you have to do is just push these blocks and then done hard. There's always a piece of plant token that's just uh, sitting out in the open. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get to it, that's all. And Ugh, that puzzle was so difficult. No, I'm kidding. Alright. Uh Let's see. Can I make that from here? Let's see. Dang it! Ow. Ow! Rude. Whatever. I can make this at least. Booyah. Alright, now let me go up here. Let me just, actually, let me just jump regularly. That's a lot more efficient. Dang it! I didn't mean to double jump. Okay, final area of this level is the kitchen. I'm not even gonna worry about enemies now. I got enough coins, I already got the pizza token. Last token I need to get. Blah, blah, brah. Come, just, thank you. Okay, there's, there's one part that's kind of, this part right here, just, just randomly spurts out boiling water which can damage you so be careful like why would they leave all this stuff on they're so irresponsible did you start throw? Oh, thank you I am oh yeah you can lock you. on by pressing come in peace r1 okay i think now i just gotta push this scale down Actually, I don't, I don't even have to stomp. I kind of passed over that explanation, but to stomp, you just have to press the spin button while you're 
in the air. Oh wait, I do have this down. There we go. And Bo Peep is right here on the kitchen table. Why is the table so ridiculously high proportionate? Whatever, it's a video game. Who cares? And there we go, the final pizza token. And with that, we are done with this level. So just choose exit level. And beyond. And you fly to the ceiling. Good stuff. So at the end of each level, if you're missing something, it'll give you a hint as to what you need by the picture. Although, like I said, Rex will tell you where the who and what you need to do is located and all that stuff. So it's really not necessary. Uh, yeah, let me save my game. All right. Oh, it's 40 tokens you need. There are a total of 50 in the game, but. I am going to get all 50, but you only need 40 to beat the game. Anyway, in the next part, we're going to start with Andy's Neighborhood. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this somewhat random playthrough, and take care.